Dear students, good morning. This is Suresh Babu, MG, with one more uh, video lecture of today's for second year BCom, third semester corporate accounting, and the chapter called uh, Underwriting of Shades. Let me share the screen pre before proceeding to the today's class. It is advisable to the students to <clears throat> have the pen notebooks with you, please. While I read and explain, it is expected that each and every student make the note of it, revise it, review it, learn it, reproduce, double, triple, three times or four times you multiply the figures and see to that there is takeaway for the of today's class. So let us uh, see here. Right. Yeah. Illustration number 28, complete and writing when total applications excluding. So this is excluding firm and writing, but including marked applications. So total applications is not covering firm and writing shares but it is including marked applications. Nischel Limited issued 2,50,000 shares of rupees 10 each for public subscription. The issue was underwritten as follows. J, 75,000 shares. Firm is 8,000 shares. B, 62,500. Firm is 12,000 shares. C, 62,500. Firm and writing, in his case, nil. D, 50,000 shares and firm and writing in this case is 30,000 shares, right? In total, see, <clears throat> 62, 5, 62, 5, 1 lakh, 25 plus 75, 2 lakh plus 50, 2 lakh 50, this 2 lakh 50, this 2 lakh 50. That means it is complete underwriting. Now, how many firm and writing shares you have? 12,000 plus C, 20,000 plus 30. 50,000, right? 50,000 firm and writing shares you have in total. Okay. The total applications excluding firm and writing but including marked applications were 1,80,000 shares, correct? 1,80,000 is covering what? 40,000 shares marked of A, 36,000 marked shares of B, and 24,000 marked shares of C. So in total, 40 plus 36, 76, 76 plus 24, 1 lakh, D, 48, 1 lakh, 48,000. So that means out of 1 lakh, 80,000, correct, 1 lakh, 80,000 minus 1 lakh, 48,000. If you subtract, right, you get 32,000 unmarked shares, right, 32,000 unmarked shares. So this you should be remembering. Now what is the question? Calculate the net liability of each underwriter teaching, uh, treating two aspects have been given. Form and writing as marked applications, form and writing as unmarked applications, okay. So that is the reason why first point number A, firm and writing treated as on par with marked application. See, statement showing underwriter's liability when firm and writing is treated on par with marked application. This is point A. Now the solution. Solution for this, what you would do? You would draw the statement of underwriter's liability, particulars A, B, C, D, and total, right? So five columns you need to draw. Right gross liability, 75,000, 60 to 5, 60 to 5, 50,000 and 2 lakh, 50,000 per A, B, C, D and total. Now look here. I have calculated and shown you how many purely unmarked shares are there. 32,000 shares, right? How come? 1 lakh 80,000 minus 1 lakh 42,000 marked up. This is total, this is marked, it is including. So now you have 32,000. 32,000 doesn't have 
doesn't have from underwriting and mocked applications. Okay. So exclusively we have what? 32,000 unmarked, purely unmarked. Now, what is that you are treating? Now, in this step, we are treating from underwriting on par with marked applications. That means in the second stage, the firm underwriting and marked applications have to be totaled and subtracted. In the first stage, only unmarked applications. See, what is the ratio? 6 is to 5 is to 5 is to 4, right? How come ratio is 6 is to 5 is to 5 is to 4? 50,000 divided by 4. That means 12,500 is common. 12,500 into 6 times, 5 times, 5 times, and 4 times. So 6 is to 5 is to 5 is to 4, right? So 9,600 A gets 8,000 B, 8,000 C, 6,400 for C, and total 32,000. Subtract it, now you get the balance 6,400, 54,500, 54,500, 43, 600. Balance 2 lakh, 18,000. Now see. Marked applications to be subtracted plus along with that firm underwriting, right? Firm underwriting and marked applications to be subtracted because, see, firm underwriting treated on par with marked applications. That is the reason why while I explain cursor movement, check it and listen both. You have to do that. Now, see, in the sum, what did they say? <coughs> yeah. 40,000, correct, plus 8,000. For total, how much? 48,000. B, how much? B is 36,000, 12,000, 48,000 total. C is how much? C is only 24,000, 24,000. Nil firm underwriting. And D is how much? 48 plus 30, 78,000 total. 1,98,000, right? Subtracted, now you get... 17,400 for A, 6,500 for B, 30,500 for C, minus 34,400 for D. That is excess. So, in total, you get 20,000. Correct? 20,000. Okay. Now, there is surplus, right? This surplus is to be distributed to whom? D is a surplus to be transferred to ABC in 6 is to 5 is to 5. So 6 by 16, 5 by 16, 5 by 16. 12,900, 10,750, 10,750. These to be minus, right? This is to be plus. So here again, total nil. Correct now? What is the balance? 4,500 minus 4,250. 19,750, nil and 20,000. Again, there is surplus, okay? Less surplus of B transfer to A and C. In which ratio? 6 is to 5 ratio. There is a gross liability. So, this is uh, plus, right? This is plus. Minus and plus becomes nil. And here it is minus, minus, right? So, 6 by 11 into 4,250. You get 2,318. 4,250 into 5 by 11, 1,932. Here it is nil. So now the balance is 2,182 and nil, 17,818. And uh, D case, it is nil. And in total, 20,000. And form and writing, 8,000, 12,000, nil, and 30,000. You get 50,000. So total liability is 10,182 for A, 12,000 for B, 17,818 for C, and D. 30,000 in total, 70,000, correct? These many shares which have to be purchased by A, B, and C, and D. Now the calculation part you see, it is very simple. Calculation of what? Gross liability. So this additional note, please copy it. It is helpful. It is going to be very helpful to you. So now see what it calculation of total applications received, including firm underwriting. Okay. So 180,000, it is excluding firm underwriting. You add, you get 230,000, right? Then calculation of marked applications, including firm underwriting, because in the second stage, which is required, right? 40 plus. <coughs>
No, this is not to be leave it. This not required for us. What is required? Forty plus eight, forty-eight thousand. Thirty-six plus twelve, forty-eight thousand. Twenty-four thousand plus nil, twenty-four thousand. Forty-eight plus thirty, seventy-eight thousand. So this is wrong, right? So don't copy it. Because we have done it here already. We have done it. See, 48, 48, 24, 78, 1 lakh, 98,000. Leave it. Then calculation of unmarked application. Total applications, including firm underwriting, marked application plus firm and 1 lakh, 98, balance is 32. See, however you can do it, if you want, you can copy. Otherwise, directly revise it once again. It, the solution is already with you. Okay. Now that is one step is over. Okay. Point A. Now point B. What is that point B? Firm underwriting to be treated on par with unmarked applications. You know 32,000 unmarked applications are there plus 50,000 firm underwriting. You have correct now. See, in the first stage, gross liability you would write. 75,000, 60,000, 60,000, 50,000, 2 lakh, 50,000. Same ratio, less unmarked applications, see, plus total firm underwriting. Firm underwriting. How much? 32 plus 50,000, 82,000. 50,000, 50,000, now you get, see, firm underwriting of A is 8,000, B is 12,000, C is 30, total 50. 50 plus 32, 80,000, 82,000. Divide, you get 24,600, 2,500, 2,500, 16,400, and total 82,000, A, B, C, and D, as well as total. Now, what is the balance? 5,400, 42,000, 42,000, 33,600, 168,000. Less marked applications only. 40,000, 36,000, 24,000, 28, 48,000 total, 1 lakh 48,000. Okay. What is the surplus balance? 10,400, 6,000, 18,000. This is minus 14,400 for D, right? 20,000. So his D's transfer to A, B, and C in 6 is to 5 is to 5, 6 by 16, 5 by 16, 5 by 16. He gets 5,400 5, minus, right? He gets 4,500 minus, so he gets 4,500 minus, and this is plus 14,400. Here also nil, here also nil. So balance is 5,000, 1,500, 13,500, and total is 20,000. Now to which firm underwriting to be added, 8,000, 12,000, nil, and 30,000. In total, you get 50,000. This is the total liability, 13,000 of A, 13,500 of B, 13,500 of C and D, 30,000 in total, 70,000. Finally, you check here. Under the first method, when the firm and rating treated up is as on par with marked applications, yes, liability was 10,182. Now, yes, liability is 13,000. B's liability was 12,000. Now, B's liability is 13,500. C's liability was 17,818. And C's liability under this method is 13,500. 30,000 under uh, the previous method, got it? Now this method, 30,000. D doesn't change, correct? A, B, C, total applications to be purchased from the company has changed. Please do revision, repeat n number of times. It is very, very relevant. And here adjustments are there, that is calculations. Calculations for, for portion is self-explanatory, which I have already explained to you. Now there is 29th illustration. Here there is homework as well. What is the homework for you? So there is, there are two methods. What is this? Firm and rating as marked applications. Treat firm and rating as unmarked application. Here the display shows that treating firm and rating as marked applications. Okay. Now, this fee B is there now. It is the homework. First, you copy this and in your notebook, you are supposed to solve this particular B. Okay. That is B method under which you would be trying to find out the liability of underwriters under the second method. 
First method solution is here itself. Sunshine Limited issued 1 lakh shares of 100 rupees each. A, B, C, and D, underwriters. The issue was underwritten by the underwriters uh, in the proportion of 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%. 40, 30, 20, and 10 means 100%. That is complete underwriting, respectively. In consideration of commission in cash at 4%, this to be understood, recorded, uh, underlined. They also apply for shares as follows, that is, firm underwriting, 3,000, A, and B, 2,000, C, 2,000, and D, 3,000 shares. Correct? Now, besides firm underwriting, C, besides firm underwriting, that means, excluding firm underwriting, the underwriters, from the underwriters, the public apply for 60,000 shares. It is very, very important. This 60,000 shares does not include firm underwriting. Okay, now? Then, shares of which marked applications were as follows. A, 10,000. B, 6,000. C, 8,000. And D, 16,000. That means 10 plus 6, 16 plus 8, 24 plus 16, 40, thousand what this is marked applications total applications received is how much sixty thousand sixty thousand minus forty thousand you get exclusively unmarked applications twenty thousand because total applications received is sixty thousand isn't it so this twenty thousand plus right Firm underwriting, firm underwriting in total, see, firm underwriting of A, 3,000, B, 2,000, C, 2,000, D, 3,000, total, 10,000. So, 20 plus 10, how much you get? 30,000, right? What is that you are treating? <coughs> wait, wait. Oh, see here, the instruction, what he says? Firm underwriting as marked applications. Firm underwriting as unmarked application. But heading C, what did he do? What did he do? This is B he has done. Correct, no? B method he has done. Okay. A method is HW. Okay. This is not homework. This is the homework. Which one? You are supposed to solve the first method. HW. That is homework. When I come to class, I would be asking each and every student of this. Okay. So, what is the, see, record, it's very important to listen it. Second method under which there is solution here. In the first method, you are expected to solve it. Okay. So, this is the statement showing underwriter's liability. Total is 1 lakh, 40,000, 30,000, 20,000, 10,000. Total is one lakh less unmarked applications plus firm underwriting. Remember why? Because you are treating right firm underwriting on par with unmarked. This is the second method. Okay. So total is 30,000. Here I have shown you the calculations. Divide into 4 by 10, 3 by 10, 2 by 10, 1 by 10. So that is 12,000, 9,000, 6,000, and 3,000. Balance 28, 21, 14, and 7. 7 total, 70,000. Now, marked applications 10,000, 6,000, 8,000, 16,000, total 40,000. Balance is 40,000. Now, there is surplus balance 18,000, 15,000, 6,000. But in case of D, it is minus 9,000. Now, see vertical. Horizontal, same total you are getting. Less surplus of B transfer to A, B, and C in which ratio? 4 is to 3 is to 2. 4 by 9, 3 by 9, 2 by 9. So here in this case, 9000 plus is minus. Now you get plus. Now it becomes 0. So 4000, 3000, 2000 minus. Now you get 14,000, 12,000, 4000 for A, B, and C. In case of D, it is nil. Total 30,000. Add firm underwriting, 3,000, 2,000, 2,000, 3,000, 
that is 10,000. Now you get the total 17,000, 14,000 and 6,000 and 3,000. Total 40,000 is the total liability. We, I have done the second method. You are asked to do the first method. That is the homework. Thank you for watching kindly. I don't know if complete understanding, if it has to happen, repeat, revise once again. Draw your own problems, right? Solutions, practice it. And instantly, you are supposed to send me the valuable feedback. Share it to your friends. Ask your friends to subscribe. And there is one more homework to each of you. Before coming to the class, ensure that each one, right, gets 10 additional members as subscribers to my channel. You know the channel is SST Benchmark on my YouTube. So do this favor and you also get the favor from my side. So this is Suresh Babu once again from Government First Grade College, Gauri Vidnar. Thank you.